All right, so this is going to be a recap of uh, all the assets that I have. Um, could be a long video. I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes, but this is just to kind of show you some environments and some characters I have and some things that we can do here at Stream Studios for Unreal Engine virtual production. So I'm just going to get started. Um, these are all the assets I have. I have a ton of them. Spend quite a bit of money on this stuff. Um, some of these assets are a couple hundred dollars, so I have quite a few. But uh, yeah, we got like a construction site here. Uh, I'm going to show some videos. So this is a new one. I got Temple of Cambodia. That's probably the highest quality one that I have. I'm going to show you a quick video here. This one was done with uh, photogrammetry, so everything's super 8K textures. So that one's super cinematic, um, very high quality. So I'll be using that one on a project pretty soon. Um, I have some abandoned amusement parks and carnival stuff. Used that for a music video recently. Uh, let's see. Got some animations, got some automotive materials so I can change the color of cars. I got this little baby demon here. Um, good horror prop. You can see some pictures of him here, but I can animate him and make him creepy. Let's see. Got this beach pack. So this is more of a fun in the sun beach pack here. Very detailed. The sand looks legit. The water looks pretty good. I used this on our music video recently as well. You get the idea. Um, what else we got? Big office for like an office environment or work environment. Bus stations. Bus stations kind of cool. Uh, I'll probably be using that soon for something. Let's see. We got the Matrix City Awakens package. Uh, super realistic environment with people walking around and cars driving around in the background. I got this cruel doll. It's kind of a horror prop. Pretty cool. Let's see here. <laughs> So you can make her crawl. She's got a bunch of animations built in. Alright, 
So that's good for a horror short film. Let's see what else we got. We got these elite landscapes so you can change the sky. So there's, you know, like some alien landscapes going on. These VFX for particle VFX and ninja fluid. Um, mushroom fungus, so I can add that to any landscape. Gothic interior mega pack. That's a good one. Let's see. Here it is. I used this for a music video recently. Pretty cinematic. It's got a bunch of fog and light rays. High quality asset, AAA. we got here got some horror props like uh, just bodies and body bags got a real legit piano like a $50 piano but it's uh, can add that in for anything you need infinite ocean so I can change the texture of the ocean uh, levitation VFX, so I can green screen somebody and put these particle effects underneath them and kind of make them fly around. This uh, fractal bulb essence thing. You can do some cool stuff with this. You can create these weird looking sci-fi textures or I don't really know what to call them, but and they're animated and moving around. Um, Let's see, bunch of mocap animations, bunch of marble textures, different types of uh, textures you can put on meshes. Realistic trees, this goddess temple here is pretty cool. Let's see. It's a high quality asset too. Got some uh, seagulls that are flying around. That's done with Niagara. These particle effects that are dropping fire. That's also Niagara. I don't know how they got the fire to look that real. That's actually pretty impressive. That's a good one. What else? Some furniture packs, so I can add in some cool looking furniture. This necromancer, he's kind of a cool character. Oh my gosh, I know that's gonna be loud. Not the highest quality, but from a distance, it'll look pretty cool with the right lighting. It's got those orbs floating around them. Could be like a villain in a comic short story. You can also play him as a character and move him around, or you can just add animations to him. Okay, next we got, got this realistic skeleton. This was done by Maui. He's a very well-known designer. Um, so he basically took individual photo scans of all these bones. Uh, you can see them all here. And then they're super high quality. So I can add this asset in any scene and kind of position it, give it different textures. 
that has blood on it. That's a good one. Got this opera house kit. This could be, could be for anything. Could make it a horror. Looks pretty good. Else. Got this dead astronaut, got these dark fantasy statues that I can add to any scene. These are real gothic looking. Uh, Okay. Got this realistic alien. Pretty high quality. These pictures don't do it justice. It looks better in, in the videos I've done with it. So any alien stuff, I can animate them. This is one of my favorites. I just bought this and it's a uh, sci-fi interior mega pack. It's not cheap. Thought I had it up here. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> has blueprints built in so you can kind of change the look of the walls and kind of kit bash it all together. That's a really good one. I'm going to be using that for something soon. All right, we got a science lab. We got some sci-fi robots. Spectrum Galaxy, this one's pretty cool. Where's that at? Here it is. We got a science lab here. This is neat for like a, a space sci-fi. Plenty of room to put characters in here. Oh, it's got a little robot vacuum thing too. I like this one. It's pretty resource intensive, but my computers, I have two computers now, should be able to handle it. Um, let's see, we got a virtual studio that's pretty neat. So news broadcast or product stuff you can do in there. I got this forest, stone pine forest. This Tokyo Mega Pack, it's an outdoor and indoor bundle. Let's see. So this is the indoor club.
indoor area. Almost done. Let's see, Ultra Dynamic Sky. This is one of my favorites. I use it in almost every project. It can make it look day, night, cloudy. Um, it's like a really cool sunset vibe. Uh, stars, so you can make the moon really big. Let's see, what else? Another virtual studio. Some cars, some UV lights. Uh, that's about it. Quite a bit of stuff to choose from, but if you got any ideas after viewing this on how you want your project done, hopefully it helps, and if you need any more details, let me know.